R.C. Bhargav, chairman at Maruti Suzuki, joins in to talk more about what the budget entailed for the auto sector and what really are the fundamentals that the auto industry is currently trying to toil with. Mr. Bhargav, thanks very much for joining us uh, on ET Now, sir. First, really, Maruti oh, is a company morning. to focus on, you know, auto industry is much relieved after the finance minister did not really raise excise duties. But what is the future growth trajectory for Mar Maruti in particular after what has been an outstanding year for the industry? Well, it looks to me that uh, there is uh, every reason to be optimistic about the coming year because, uh, as you said, the budget did not do anything negative uh, in terms of the automobile industry. The finance minister, in fact, talked of good growth and continuing the good growth. And uh, all the uh, statements and intentions which were expressed in the budget by the finance minister are all quite positive. And in that context, assuming that the concerned ministries all go ahead and start implementing the programs, I think the economy should do well, and uh, which should mean that the industry will also continue to do well and have another good year this year. Mr. Bhargav, what is puzzling markets is that at a time when auto sales are strong, who has the pricing power? The seller, which is the manufacturer, or the buyer, which is consumer? I'm not sure if anybody really has the kind of purchasing power which I think you're hinting at because I don't think anybody can really, really determine uh, market prices today. Even even Maruti with its leadership position can't really determine prices because uh, there is the element of competition. You know, competition now is really fierce in the market. And in a highly competitive market, Really, the market and the consumers have a bigger say in price determination than anybody else. But to an extent where input costs keep going up and costs keep going up, there becomes a limit to which companies can absorb the price increases. And so sometimes price increases have to be made even if uh, you feel that uh, the market uh, will not be happy with it. Mr. Bhargav, you just spoke about competition. Many global brands have launched their compact cars in last year. Tell us which is the brand you believe has the maximum possibility of eroding your market share. Could Toyota's ETOs do the damage? Uh, well, it's very difficult to say which particular model can do it because uh, there are so many models and customer reactions to models are very difficult to predict. And what you might see in the beginning of a model may not remain valid after a few months. So all I can say is that uh, in this competitive environment like what we have, it's uh, difficult to say what it is. But we on our part will try and do what we can to keep our market share. But remembering that uh, there are limitations uh, on capacity with us. If the market grows like it has grown this year at 30%, there's no way we can grow at another 30% this year. Mr. Bhargav, your export sales have been dropping in a steady manner, some of it uh, intentionally by the company. There are reports that Maruti is now looking to supply its A-Star to Volkswagen as well. So that, does that mean that exports are again a focus area for Maruti in future? No, no. I think firstly, we have not deliberately been dropping exports, quite the contrary. Exports to Europe dropped this year by a substantial amount, actually. They dropped by, I think, 60 or 1,000 cars, largely because the European markets uh, fell following the withdrawal of the scrappage schemes. And uh, it's, it's nothing to do with uh, our not willing to send cars there. In fact, we have worked to export cars to non-European markets, and that's why the final drop in the exports this year will not be more than 10 or 15,000 compared to last year. Although Europe, as I said, has dropped by about 60,000 cars. And uh, this news about Volkswagen is something which has appeared in the press. It's not something which uh, is uh, at the moment any kind of reality with us. At the... right. So it, we, we, we are not... Uh, we, we take exports according to market conditions and what we can ex what we can do in terms of sales in those countries. You know, we have dealers there, so we have to look after the dealer interest also. Right.
Mr. Bhargav, so I'm going to blend two questions into one. What is giving you sleepless yeah. nights? The commodity prices, competition, and are you in a position to increase uh, your product prices when commodity prices are moving up? Well, to some extent, this has been happening with all the automobile manufacturers that when commodity prices have been going up, they have increased prices. It becomes inevitable after a point because... Uh, if, if you don't do that, then you get into negative margins. So we can't really afford to get that situation happening. But uh, you're seeing, but the increase in prices, you know, what happens in the prices? One, one and a half percent uh, average price increase, that's all, which is far less than the commodity price increase. If you look at prices, the way copper has gone or aluminum has gone or some of the precious metals have gone or rubber has gone, the price increase are much, much uh, larger. Your margins for the quarter gone by, unfortunately, Mr. Bhargav, they have slipped and they have slipped, uh, you know, quite aggressively. Have they bottomed out or you further see some pressures, pressure on them? No, it depends what you compare with. If you go quarter by quarter, it's not that uh, significant. But if you go to last year, then the impact of the change royalty system comes into play. And of course, the commodity prices. So there is a slippage of margin. It's not all that substantial. Mr. Bhargav, you know, while it was a great year for the entire auto industry last year, the month and month numbers still continued to deliver the volumes. But the market participants are more worried about the commodity prices and what sort of impact would it have on the margins uh, of auto companies. One message from you uh, for the market and your shareholders. It's very difficult to predict. <laughs> All I can say is that we can try and do our best and keeping into account, as I said, the competition in the market, the need to sell our volumes, and also to keep margins. But uh, ultimately, what kind of margins will end up, I think uh, we will see as we go along. Right. I wouldn't like to make a prediction on margins for the coming year at all.